The fish families we will discuss in this section are those which have a small oval form. The first of the oval fish families is the Pomacentridae, or damselfish family. These are recognizable by their small, high body. The next family is the Ceranidae, or Antheus. This family is easily recognizable because they are brightly colored and are found in groups. The first family, Palmacentridae, or damselfish, is recognizable by their small, high body and rounded tail tips. The body shape makes them very maneuverable to escape predators. They are approximately 10 centimeters long and live between corals or anemones. Their diet consists of zooplankton and algae, and they occur in schools above the corals or as individuals in the reef. The fish in this family are very variable in color. We will now go through a few examples of fish species in the Palmacentridae family. The first is Abodeftof sex fasciatus, commonly called sergeant majors. These are characterized by being silver with five thick black vertical stripes down the body and two black streaks on the tail. Abodeftof spheroides. These are blue tinged with a black dot on the tail base. Next we have Amphiprion alardi. These are anemone fish, which are black and orange with two white vertical stripes on the body and a white tail. Next is Amphiprion acolopisos, another species of anemone fish. These are commonly called the pink anemone fish because of the pinkish tinge to the body. They also have a white stripe running down the back, starting from the mouth. Next up, we have Neoglyphidodon melas. The name melas refers to the black pigment of the body. Next up is Plectrogyphidodon dicky, commonly called the black bar devil. These are a tan color with a white tail and a single dark vertical bar near the end of the body. Plectrogyphidodon lacrimatus. These are a dark color with a white tail and small bright blue spots over the back. These are generally hiding in the coral, but are very territorial and will come up to you if you get too close. Next up is Chrysoptera unimaculata. Uni means one in Latin, and maculata is spot, referring to the small spot near the tail at the base of the dorsal fin. These also have bright yellow pectoral fins. Next is Pomocentris pavo. Pavo in Latin is peacock, and like the peacock, it is blue with spots on the tail and all over its body. Next is Pomocentris ceruleus. This is a small blue species with gold lining the bottom of the body and tail. There are three species of Dasilis we will discuss, which are recognizable by their somewhat egg-shaped body. The first Dasilis species is Dasilis trimaculatus. These have a dark body with three spots over the body, one on each side and one on the forehead. The spots are very noticeable in juveniles, but fade in adults. The next Dasilis species is Dasilis carneus. These are a tan or white color with dark black dorsal and anal fins, a semi-transparent tail, and a dark vertical bar over the pectoral fin. And the last Dasilis species is Dasilis aruanus, commonly referred to as the zebra damselfish. These are black and white striped with a semi-transparent tail. Next up, there are a few Chromis species we will review. These are very oval shaped with sharply pointed tails. Remember that all of these are still in the Pomacentridae family or damselfish. The first Chromis species we will discuss is Chromis viridis. Viridis in Latin means fresh and youthful, and these fish are quite active and have a light bright blue color. Next is Chromis ternitensis. These have a tail outlined in black, and all fins are very thinly outlined in blue. Generally, the plain tan color and dark tail are the leading characteristics, though. Next is Chromis demediata. Demi in Latin means half, referring to the coloration being half black and half white. Next is Chromis weberi. This species is olive and silver colored, having a black stripe before the gill cover and a black tipped tail. The next species in the Palmacentridae family is Neopalmacentris cyanamos. 
These are dark, with yellow ends on the tail, dorsal, and anal fins. The next species is Palmacentris sulfureus. These are bright yellow with a dark pectoral spot. And lastly, we have Stegastus nigricans. These are dark color with a tan vertical bar running through the middle of the body. The second family of the fish families with a small oval form is the family Serranidae, or Antheus. These are recognizable by their brightly colored bodies and long fins which often have trailing filaments. They also have a deeply forked tail. They are approximately 10 centimeters long and they live hovering above corals. Their diet consists of zooplankton and they aggregate near corals. Generally, you will see a group of females with one or two males. The fish in this family are quite colorful and can be red, purple, and yellow. We will go through a few examples of species in the Serranidae family. The first species is Pseudoanthius ivansi, also called the yellow back anthias. It is purple with yellow back and tail. Next is Pseudoanthius bimaculatus. The best way to recognize it is the yellow horizontal eye stripe and yellow back. While it looks similar to Pseudoanthius ivansi, notice that its tail is more rounded. This is a female which is distinguished from the male by the bright yellow back. Males have a reddish tinge over their entire body, but still have the patterns on the body. The next species is Pseudoanthius squamipinus. Pictured here is the female coloration. Both male and female have a stripe beginning at the pectoral fin and running through to the eye. Females have a yellow with pink horizontal eye stripe. This is a male Pseudoanthius squamipinus. Males have red bodies with yellow scales and a red horizontal eye stripe. The next species in the Serranidae family is Pseudoanthius cuperi, this one being male. Male coloration is light blue with a red tail and dorsal fin. You can also see the red vertical bar on the side of the body. This is a female Pseudoanthius cuperi. It has a uniform red tinged body. The next species is Pseudoanthius fasciatus. Fasciatus in Latin means banded or striped, referring to the orange horizontal stripes down the body, which is flanked by a white stripe on both sides. This is a female, so the stripes are thinner and not as distinct. This is a male Pseudoanthius fasciatus. Notice the horizontal stripe is wider and very distinct. Quiz time! We have a small overview to test your knowledge of the families within the large ovals group. Which fish belong to the Pomacentridae and which fish belong to the Serranidae? Pause the video to see how you do. Are you ready? Here are a few tips for getting these correct. Remember that Pomacentridae have a small, high body, while the Serranidae family are very brightly colored and generally have quite long tails. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video to continue your fish identification.